it's your girl Miss Amory and I am back to show you all my flat ironing routine. So let me show you the flat iron that I'm using today. The amazing people over at Vera Professional Inc. sent over their diamond edition, diamond infused, one inch ceramic hair flat iron and I am so grateful. So just a little bit about this flat iron. It has diamond infused ceramic technology. This helps with creating a even distribution of heat and to ensure that you have silky smooth hair every single time. This flat iron goes up to 450 degrees. It has a dial and it has an on and off switch and a red indicator light. So that's amazing you could actually pick what temperature you want your flat iron on and you're not guessing. The thing that I really love the most about this flat iron is the outside has a non-slip coating on it and it's really really helpful because my flat iron that I have is just plastic on the outside and once you you know get hair product on your hands while you're doing your hair it's it you don't want to risk the chance of dropping it and burning yourself so that's probably one of my favorite things about this flat iron it has a 360 degree swivel cord it comes with a heat resistant carrying pouch so you can take your flat iron on the go and not worry about burning surfaces or burning anything in your bag it also has a built-in automatic shutoff, which is amazing if you are in a rush and you forget to turn your flat iron off because it has happened to everyone. And it also has a one-year warranty, so that is way better than 30 days. And this is the worldwide edition, so it works from 100 volts all the way up to 240 volts. So... This is a little bit about the flat iron that I use. I really, really like it. So let's get into the hair tutorial. All right, guys, so I'm starting on blow dried hair. If you wanna see a blow dry tutorial, let me know. I just wanted to show you guys how I straighten my hair because you guys know the whole process from beginning to end takes forever. So I turned on my flat iron and I set it to 370 and it, it warmed up pretty fast. So I'm going to section my hair. I try to section it to medium sized sections. You can do smaller, but this is what I do. I'm using the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Spray. I'm just trying to use it up. Okay, so I use the Chase Method with a board bristle brush. I cannot go back to a comb ever since I started using the hard brush or board bristle brush whatever you want to call it i seriously only have to go over my hair twice sometimes a third time but mainly twice so as you can see i'm going over my roots a couple of times because that's the most heat resistant part of my hair and i'm slowly moving my way down and it's pretty straight on the first try so now on the second pass you're about to see how nice this looks and i was very very impressed with the vera flat iron so i'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same steps i just go over my roots a couple times especially um if my roots still have a little texture to them from bl um blow drying sometimes my roots don't get a hundred percent straight now I'm in dire need of trimming my ends and you're gonna see right here this section wasn't really straightening that good at the end so I think I went over this section three times instead of two in some spots where my ends were just absolutely trash like I went over it three times all right so this is the first section of my hair done um one side of my hair grows faster than the other Every time I trim it, I trim it back even, but one side goes faster than the other. But that's it. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my hair because the routine is the same. So I think you guys get the point, and I will be back shortly. Alright guys, I am doing the last piece. This took me forever because <laughs> I was watching TV. Um, I was catching up on some shows, so usually it would probably take me about an hour to straighten. A little over an hour but it took me closer to two because I was catching up on episodes that I missed but I am all done 
I do have a slight dent in my hair because I did use a hair tie, but that's fine. But this is how my hair usually always looks first day. It's always very fluffy. It's always a lot of flyaways. And that's how it is until I wrap it the next day. Even when I was relaxed, it's the same way. I'm going to put some of this organics. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> a little bit of that oil. But then when I wrapped it, I put some grapeseed oil because it wasn't heavy enough. That first day, I need a, something a little bit heavier to help wrap it first of all because it's gonna just keep falling out of the wrap and then be just to weigh it down a little bit this is how it looks I went ahead and cut about an inch to an inch and a half off and guys just do it like I feel nothing when I cut my hair before when I was relaxed I used to be like no and that's how my hair used to break off because I didn't want to cut it but now I just cut it and I don't care Everyone, so you just see me straighten my hair with the Vera Professional Ink Hair Straightener. I have the Diamond Edition. So thank you to Vera Professional Ink for sending this to me for review. I have not straightened my hair since October or September, um, and my ends are trash. So I don't know how uneven it is, especially once you look at it from the back. As you guys know, I have this is 100% natural hair. Well, it's I've dyed my hair, but. I don't, <laughs> I have no relaxer. So I consider myself natural. So what I liked about this flat iron, I love the fact that it's like, it's not rubber, but it's kind of like that. It has, um, I don't know what this is. Maybe I'll look in a pamphlet and it says it, but it's kind of like rubberized. So it's not smooth. Like I have a chi and it's smooth cause it's plastic. And if you have product on your hands from doing your hair, you could, it's, you know, you're more prone to dropping in and all that and you don't want to do that especially when you're using something hot um, I use this on 370 I tried to show it in the video I might not have been able to but I use it on 370 I have not I felt like when I was relaxed I would go over the 400 but now that I'm natural like I have not done that and I feel like I didn't need to ever do that so like I said my hair is thick it's natural so it's not gonna get as bone straight but it, this is how I usually, this is how I like my hair. It will look better tomorrow after it's wrapped tonight and everything. But what I liked about this flat iron also is that it did not snag. I've had plenty of flat irons where it snags where the plate and the outside of the flat iron meets. It did not snag one time. I love how smooth and how easy it was just to glide across my hair. The only con I would really give it is that it's a pro and a con. It, the Diamond Edition has automatic shut off. That's amazing if you accidentally leave your flat iron plugged in. But because I was catching up on shows, I was really doing my hair for like two hours when it probably would have took me a little over an hour to straighten. But it, it got to the point where I was doing a section, I was like, it's not straightening. <laughs> I'm just like, what's going on? I'm like, it's plugged in, what's going on? And I look at the indicator light, it has a red indicator light when it's on, it was off. So I was like, oh yeah, I read in the pamphlet, and I think it's on the box, it has automatic shut off. So I need to actually look in the pamphlet and see when does it have automatic shut off, like when does it shut off. So that's the only con, it will shut off. Other than that, I am a big fan of this flat iron. I will leave all the information to Vera Professional Inc. down below. So thank you so much again to Vera Professional Inks for sending me this flat iron. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye.